So I'm uh, tracking the San Andreas today. And I followed it about 20 miles along different cities. Wrightwood, Big Pine, Valermo. And now we're off of Lone Pine Road. We're on Swarthout Canyon. And this whole canyon is the San Andreas. So on the left would be the North American plate, which is going south. And on the right is the Pacific plate, which is traveling at a slow rate moving north. And we're literally in between the two plate zones right now. And you can see the difference in the, in the rock structure. Look, look on this side. And you can see a difference in the uh, in the age of the uh, the mountain. And look on this side, and you can see quite a bit of difference in that rock. These are geological disturbances on the plate right here. Um, there's a literal oh, look at that deer tracks. Uh, but you can track this this line, this plate line. Right here, and, and geologists have been up here doing experiments. This is the actual fault. Right here, it comes, breaks over here, breaks through over here. There's some disturbance going on over here. This is a definite fracture. Right here. Look at all this little splits. Look at the vein. If you follow this up here, you'll see it actually has a depression. Look, you can see the difference. There's definite sign of breakage in the peat moss layer. Right over here, you'll see how high this layer is over here makes a and then continues on down that's this is the I'm literally standing in the fault and it's not mine it's not my fault now there are some barbed wire because they had some geology experiments going on up here they marked this specific area off because this is an accessible area to study but pretty interesting